stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. Welcome to a special episode of Air Gun Detectives. Um, before we get started here, do me a favor if you hadn't, hit the little subscribe button. If you'd like to be notified of new videos, hit the little bell. And appreciate the thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Yeah, I'm a little, uh, got a little handicap going here. Had a, got a bad wing. Fortunately, I had to have some rotator cuff surgery, but typical. I go in to have the surgery, and it's going to be, you know, quick arthroscopic, quick recovery. I wake up after surgery with a six inch scar and they had to do a little rehab or a little rebuild on my rotator cuff. You can see some of the damage here. Anyway, that was a departing gift from the, the department uh, before I retired. So had one last injury that um, I sustained and then I got that fixed up. But I'm dedicated to you guys. That's why I'm here, one arm or not. And I'm hoping to kind of slide this thing out by the time we go do a little shooting over here. But anyway, so today, what do we have? Today, we have the Sig Sauer, and it comes in this great little box. This is an Airsoft. It's a 6 millimeter Airsoft. But let me show you what you get here in the box, obviously. You get your gun, obviously, and you get your little manual here that um, shows you um, everything you need to do as far as uh, shoot the gun. This is the green gas version. So let's push this off to the side. This is our green gas version. Get that here. Yes, I am a little handicapped here. So this is our green gas version. Um, this is the uh, P229. I actually have the real 229. Uh, the only difference with this one is uh, I don't have the bottom rail on mine. mine. I didn't have the rail. That was an option at the time that I got mine. But anyway, this is a full blowback um, dropout magazine. Uh, this holds 23 rounds, 23 of the 6 millimeter, and this is green gas. If you guys know what green gas is, it's almost like a, uh, the way you would refill a lighter. It's a big can of gas, and you just basically um, load it just like you're doing a lighter. It takes a few seconds, and boom, you're ready to go. But anyway, this, is, uh, this magazine holds 23 rounds, and uh, full blowback. We've got the three dot, let me show you this, we've got the three dot fixed sights on here and they are actually all metal slides it's a metal slide this has the decocker just like you would on the regular gun I mean they did a terrific job on this they also make uh, CO2 magazines they are going to be coming out with the CO2 magazines for these as well if you prefer to shoot uh, CO2s in these so this is about seven inches total length uh, the barrel on this is about four and three quarter inches um, just weighs under two pounds it's 1.85 pounds I mean, very solid, solid uh, filling gun. Uh, typical with Sig Sauer and their um, um, airsoft and their uh, air guns. So this is part of their Pro Force series. Um, ironically, the uh, Coast Guard actually contracted um, with Sig Sauer, and they um, are using these for training. So if you actually carry um, a 229, this will actually fit in the holster. So you can do serious training. And you guys that saw my video with the uh, uh, Six Hour Airsoft, the M17, I talked about the benefits of training with these, which is terrific. Um, because there's just no limit in where you can use them and where you can set up your training. So this does have a hop-up feature. This thing actually um, field strips very easily. What you do is you just cock the gun back, let it lock in the slide, and this little lever here, right here on the side, you just flip that down. It's that simple. Then release the slide, and it comes right. Of course, you got to pull the magazine out. Um, you release the slide, and it comes right out. And then here you have your little hop-up feature here that you can adjust um, if you need to get in here and lubricate it. But I mean, it's that simple. It comes apart that easy. So obviously, it goes back together. If I could see, I can't see very well, but here we go. Slide this baby in just like that. Put our magazine back in. Got our little decocker. So anyway, um, this also has a nice little Picatinny rail. If you want to put a flashlight or some type of laser on the bottom, um, you'll have that. So field strips. We got our three dot sights, full blowback. It's got the genuine weight, and uh, so you're pretty much ready to go. 
Like I said, I like to do an airsoft, one of these um, reviews occasionally, just because they are a terrific product, and they're a lot of fun to shoot. I was never really into airsoft, but I just love the fact that um, you don't have to have a uh, seriously heavy-duty background to shoot these. You can set targets out all over your yard, um, backyard, or like I said, if you're in law enforcement, want to do some type of training, you can train in a school, you can train in a mall, you can do anything with these. These are great. Anyway, Sig Sand, this shoots about, um, with the green gas, it shoots in the high 200s. They're claiming about 295 feet per second. We're going to take it out, we're going to test it, we'll put it through our usual, and uh, let's come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. Okay, we got our SIG Pro Force here, our 229, and we're going to see how well it does over the crowning. We're going to be shooting just uh, the .20 grain, a little biodegradable um, airsoft BBs. And let's just shoot five over the crony and see how we do. All right, shot number one. 281. Shot number two. 276. Shot number three. 276. Shot number four. 292 and shot number five. 275. Okay, there's your average velocity uh, with our uh, six millimeter airsoft. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test a little bit of the accuracy on our uh, SIG uh, P229 and see how well it groups. We're about our usual um, 30 feet back, about 10 meters, and we'll see how, how it groups. And reminder, we are shooting green gas and uh, we are shooting the uh, 0.20 grain biodegradable airsoft BB. So let's see how well we group. All right. Here's five, let's just do one more. Six. All right. Decock that. Not a bad group, especially for airsoft at um, 30 feet back. Let's move on to the next segment. Do a quick trigger test on our uh, Sig Sauer 229. Let's uh, test it both in double action and then we'll uh, do a pull in single action as well. So let's see where we're at here. All right. In double action, We're about eight pounds on that one. Eight pounds. So now let's try single action and see where we are on that one. All right. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Yeah, it's really a nice feeling trigger. It really is. Of course, we've got our decocker. Let's move on to the next segment. Okay, let's do some quick plinking with our Sig Sauer uh, P229. The great thing about um, Blinking with the airsoft, we don't have to be as critical with our background. I mean, obviously, we always want to be safe, but we know with the airsoft, you're not really going to do much damage. And what's great is these BBs are bio biodegradable. So let's do a little shooting here and see how we make out. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's our SIG 229. Not bad. Move on to the final segment. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. Well, you saw how well our SIG Sauer P229 performed quite well, actually. So the manufacturer was claiming that this would get uh, about 295 feet per second. I'd say we're pretty much there. We had a high of 292 feet per second, a low of 275. We averaged 280 feet per second. And that's just under, uh, or right at about 0.8 joules, just so you people out there in the airsoft world want to know how many joules that is. Anyway, what a terrific gun, I have to say, overall. Um, we tested the accuracy. So from our usual roughly 10 meters, roughly 30 feet right there, um, we had a 1.3 inch group. Yes, yeah, so a 1.3 inch group. That's tremendous. Anything I said before, anything under two inches is pretty amazing. But 1.3 inches. So this thing is actually pretty doggone accurate. Um, like I said, this is a, a green gas magazine. And uh, they also make a CO2 for this. So you'll have your option of either one. Um, again, the gun is set up 
it's authentic as far as weight, feel. This will go right into your holster. If you own a, a newer a P229 with a rail on it, this will actually go right into your holster. So you can actually practice with this in your backyard. And let me tell you something, magazine changes are all the same, whether it's an airsoft gun or a real gun. If you, if you develop that muscle memory, um, to be able to change those magazines and uh, practice, practice, practice. Remember, as I said, nothing replaces the real thing, going to the range, firing the real rounds and doing that. But this is a great training tool. This will help you. This will help you train. It will develop muscle memory, which is really good. So overall, I think uh, Sig hit a home run on this one. And not to mention, this thing comes in a cool box. I mean, seriously, look at that box. It's an outstanding box, and that's nice because you, if you want to collect these or put these away, you can do that. But uh, this is a terrific gun, I have to say. Um, there's questions on uh, how many rounds, some say 25. This is a 23-round magazine. I counted every round and tested it, so you know it's a 23-round round magazine. Uh, the blowback on this is beautiful. It's crisp. It's, I mean, it's literally a full blowback. This gun comes all the way back, so it is really really nice um, it's a solid gun I have to say once again uh, Sig your Pro Force collection you're hitting a home run on this I would have to say overall I'm gonna give this four and three quarter stars yes four and three quarter stars that's what this is getting this um, if you're a Sig Sauer fan um, you like to shoot uh, you're in law enforcement, military, you want to practice. As we talked about, the Coast Guards are using these for their training, and I can see why. I wish we had had something like this when I was training. Um, we usually just had those plastic guns, as I shared with you before. But uh, with that, I thank you for tuning into this special edition to Airgun Detectives. This is where we take the mystery out of the airgun. Until next time, thank you.